Hey y'all, let's get caught up. Today I visited the Botanic Gardens and Sentosa Island. I flew high, drove fast, and of course I chillaxed. Overall, it was a very wonderful day. Let's see what I get into next. All right, I am back. I'm ready to go, I'm refreshed, okay? I just might be feeling myself a little bit. Pull my dress down, oh my goodness. Um, we're gonna head to Newton Food Center, really just to try a little bit of everything. Um, may do a little bit of just night sightseeing and then we're gonna come back and rest because we do have a sidecar trip in the morning. As always, the skincare came through. Come on now, hey. We gotta do. <laughs> I don't know what is up with this dress, except that it is, I don't know. Here we go. Obligatory. See if the, oh yeah, booty pop. Hey, <laughs> hey. Okay. I remembered the rings today, so we're good. I don't know if you can see this, but. The booty is, you can't see that. A little curved though, okay. Okay, I am here. Now apparently this place wasn't actually in the book, so that's interesting, but it's still giving, you know, bachelor, crazy rich Asians vibes. So I think I'm gonna do a quick walk around first and then I'm gonna come back and see what I want to eat. Okay, so I basically had an entire walk through of this place. I'm about to be back at the start and I think what I'm gonna do is kind of hop from place to place. That way I get to try a little bit of everything and do small plates and that way I don't get too full too quickly off of one spot. Okay, so I started off with some satay. I got chicken and pork because there are some other spots that I thought might have a little bit better beef options for me to try. And I can't even remember, I think lamb was their other option, which I think I want to go to. It's an Indian place that looks like it has a pretty good, like, tiny plate. So I think it'd be a good starter. I'm excited for it to come. All right. Also, may I just say, I think this money is very, like, it's just so pretty. I know that's random, but something I've been thinking ever since, like, I exchanged my stuff is like, oh, it's just so cute. Okay, so I also decided to try a drink called Bandung. Bandung. Whatever it is, it's supposed to be like um, like a rose flavor drink, which I think is very unique. It was that or soursop, but I think the rose one would be a good palate cleanser. At least that's what I'm hoping for. All right, so these are the satay skewers. I'm not really quite sure what this is, but we will figure that out. my drink came but look what I did this is a defective cup for iCarly I spilled it everywhere I grabbed it with more force than I guess I needed to thinking it was more firm so let's go ahead and taste it so it doesn't spill anymore I need, I need to figure out where to find napkins I know I just made a face but was because I wasn't expecting it to be as sweet as it is. This is actually very good. Big fan. Mm, 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 mm. Which it almost makes me even more upset that I spilled it before I even got to taste it because it really is that good. But none of it got on my satay, so hey. 
All right, so we'll call this a good starter. I think what's in the cup is a sauce. Tried it with the chicken, it's very good. So I'm gonna finish up this here starter, and then we're gonna move on to the next doll. So it just occurred to me that I actually haven't eaten since this morning, which is probably why I'm so freaking hungry. Albeit it was a big meal this morning, but I for real went all day walking. I've done at least like seven miles today, and I haven't eaten, ain't that something? I don't know why I beat it like that, I'm sorry. Also, I just want to say that if this here pink drink doesn't inspire you to just be like flirty and fun and young, I don't know what will because this really is the bee's knees. I'm trying not to slurp it down too fast because it's that good. Clean as a whistle. All right, let's move on to the next thing. These shoes will be the death of me because I almost dropped my drink falling out of them. So let me fix my shoe real quick before I lose my drink in front of all these people. Like I said, it is not a fear of like falling or tripping. It's just the embarrassment that comes because I know I laugh when people fall in public. So I expect other people to as well. Okay, any mini money mo. I can't remember if I wanted anything over here. I'm good on juice since I have my drink. I just had satay. Let's see what else there might be. So I decided on this dumpling spot next. I'm gonna try the prawn dumplings. There's three and it's for $5. I feel like dumplings will be a nice next like stop. And I think after this, I'm going to get some, actually, I don't know. I really don't know. There's so many options. I don't know if you can see, but it's literally all just food carts, so. I keep acting like I'm not indecisive, I am. But what I do know is I might have to get another one of these drinks before I leave because I know y'all think I'm just exaggerating, but it really is that good. Unless you don't like like floral type things. Like I like um, teas and stuff like that. This isn't really tea, but it has like that floral taste sometimes and like Earl Grey and lavender tea that I had the other day. I say the other day like I've been here a while. I had yesterday, that was pretty good. So, decided to keep walking around. I think I know what I want next, but we'll see how full I am after these dumplings. And how much money I have, actually. That too. I'm acting like I didn't have a set number of cash I wanted to spend today, so. Also, I just wanna say, it has completely slipped my mind that it's, it's almost 11 p.m. right now. Can you believe that? I um, <laughs> saw me trying to tuck my little wig real quick. I definitely was considering doing some like other things tonight, but because I have an early wake up, I think this is gonna be it for me, but this is really fulfilling, honestly, like both like from a satiety factor, like I'm definitely going to be full after this, but also just the ambiance feels really nice. Aside from spilling my drink on my mask, like everything's going pretty well. And um, I, I don't know what I was gonna say, I, I don't know why I'm making this complicated. All right. Oh, I remember it. I was going to say, can we appreciate that the skincare is staying and not sweating off my face? The glow is coming, okay? No makeup, shorty. I was in the middle of talking about my skincare and my shrimp dumplings came. I guess it's actually four pieces, which is good. And then comes with a soy sauce and then I, I, I assume a sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna see if I'm still skilled at the use of chopsticks. So bear with me. I've gotta do the hair tuck, you know me. I feel like this is gonna be a lot more awkward than I think. Like it's gonna be more awkward than I think. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I tried to be dainty about it and happy way. If I don't spill a drop of myself today, that'll be so fortunate. No, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna. That was the weirdest exchange. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Let me just. Dip. I 
dip, you dip, you dip. It's actually very delicious, but that was such an ugly bite. I don't know why I did that. Y'all don't come for me in the comments, please. I'm so impressed with my skills to not only bite it in half, but continue holding it. Like, look at me go. Shorty out here is thunder. So I really don't know what these sauces are, but whatever it is, is thebomb.com. Like, you need to use some of this. Okay. That was utterly and completely, and so my sixth grade teacher used to say all the time, I am utterly and completely, um, <laughs> shout out if you know. That was delicious. I think, I mean, I've only tried two different types of food, but so far that's my favorite. Love a good prawn. Okay, we don't say shrimp prawn. And here comes the palate cleanser. It is kind of sweet. I'm not gonna lie. So the reason why I'm like, oh, it's sweet is because I know y'all watched me dump like mad sugar into my tea yesterday but that's because i really think it was just water right but this is like oh my gosh in your face this is like mcdonald's sweet tea type sweet where that's like syrupy like this is made with rose like sugar syrup so that's kind of why but it is still very tasty and it's cold like come on i also just want to say that given it does kind of look like it's it's really that pepto-bismol pink or like bubblegum pink this is the flavor that we deserved okay whatever we got was not it this right here this rose is the flavor pepto bismol needs to be because my childhood was not very flavorful okay so i probably have like 20 something dollars left for singapore dollars so i'm going to probably get two more things but now comes the time that i have to decide what those things are because i don't want to spend it all here i do want to visit some street markets too and kind of limit how much cash I carry on me and then how much I spend in each place I'm gonna be going to so we'll see what I get but haha -ha, stay tuned okay hear me out it's not that I lied I just knew that there was gonna be something that like popped up and I was like oh I have to try that and that thing for me today was I'm trying barbecued stingray I didn't even know people ate stingrays what's in my hair That was random, but um, yeah, barbecued stingray. I've never, I didn't think um, basically that you could eat that. And I think part of me still got beef with stingrays because of Steve Irwin, may he rest in peace, because that was my childhood. But I'm very curious to see like what I'm about to get into because I assume it has bones. Am I not smarter than a fifth grader? I feel like a fifth grader would know this. I don't know. I knew this would happen. I got overzealous and now I have to sit here. Oh my gosh, why do I always ear tuck? I got overzealous and I have to ration out my drink for this stall because it's almost gone, but I know this is gonna make me thirsty because something just tells me probably gonna have a little bit of a kick to it, a little bit of spice. I should have I should have slowed down in the beginning. Why do these these lights look like how my eyes normally do? But I know my eyes are wrong because I like have astigmatism. But these lights are leaning like on camera, but they're not in real life. Um, ha! Now y'all get to see what I see. And speaking of camera distortions, I was really just talking with my man today because um, I was trying to show him how beautiful the moon was. My master's doll. They helped me pick it up. Um, but yeah, I was trying to show him how beautiful the moon was because it looked very big in person and it was looking like a little baby little like ball of, of moon but then like the sunset to the eye was really just orange and yellow but on video it was so vivid and vibrant I was just like, isn't that weird how sometimes our eyes 
see more than the camera, but then sometimes the camera sees more than the eye. You know, am I, am I wrong? You know, I totally thought I was not gonna have the heat problems at all, but time for the clip to come out because it's nighttime. I'm not quite there yet. Although my face looks like it, I promise you that's just my skincare. I don't know why I miss my face look so shiny because I didn't actually put the sunscreen on tonight. And all I put on was I used CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser and then I used a Rosehip Oil Serum. And that little serum was in my Ross skincare haul. And then on top of that, I literally just put a regular, regular face lotion on, Lubriderm. And then spray my little mist and I look like this, but like now it looks like I'm sweating. Anyways, the point was that the claw clips gotta, gotta make an appearance. I hope I did it right. It's giving, I don't know. I'm not even gonna lie. This looks a little bit daunting and I'm kind of scared, but in a good way. Let's try a bite. Okay, hear me out. As I suspected, the sauce is spicy, but it actually has a very pleasant taste. It's not really fishy. I don't know if it's like the texture is like fish, but like the flavor is not like fish. I think it's tasty. I do. So, we gonna finish this. Also, I have no idea what this is, but I just like squeezed the juice all over this, so. Oh, that's a seed. Well, <clears throat> I can confirm that stingrays have plenty of bones. <clears throat> Many of them are very small and very easy to choke on. So keep that in mind. All right. Yeah. All right, I've gotten smarter at this. I learned that this bottom portion is like the bone. So I've been scraping it off and I am back to enjoying this little stingray. The sauce, as you can see, I don't care for it as much. Not that it doesn't taste good, but the smell is reminding me of like things that I shouldn't think of while I'm eating basically like certain stuff you know that would make your stomach just like mm, don't have an appetite anymore but it is very tasty with just the red like hint of sauce so I'm gonna finish this and then figure out what time it is I might just call it or I might try one more thing <laughs> okay so the pink drink is officially gone I had to do it let me stop looking crazy real quick yeah, the, the pink drink is gone officially. It was just too good to try to savor in that way. That, and I am comfortably full. So I think I'm gonna call it a night here. Again, would highly recommend, I really hope you guys can hear me because I feel like I, I cannot even hear myself in here. But yeah, I would highly recommend coming here. Not all the carts were open when I came through and so something tells me that there would probably be more options earlier in the day when people are actually up and about because they have lives to get to as well. So I assume that's why they're closed. But other than that, I am going to sign off from here and should be headed to the hotel next, but I cannot guarantee that. So we'll see what we do. Okay, look at how cool these drinks are. I guess I would have seen what it was if I had paid attention when I walked in, but look at this. Reading is fundamental. So yeah, I had this and then I don't know what chin chow is or grass jelly, the Michael Jackson. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Coconut milk, green rice flour jelly, red bean shaved ice, palm sugar. These are some interesting, these are some interesting drinks. But anyways, I did call my car because it is getting late. I want to be responsible, so we're going to go to bed. Hopefully it is here soon, but I think I'm going to sign off here. Don't quote me for that though. We'll see. All right. See you guys tomorrow if this is signing off. If not, we'll see what happens. What an interesting development. So somebody hopped into my car somehow. And I'm like, especially if it was a man, like I know I have a woman's name in there. I don't remember if I have a photo or not, but I'm like, you didn't confirm with the person who got in your car that they are who they say they are. So I called and he said he's on his way back, but that's just so sketchy to me. You know, like, what? Okay, so.
so we made it back to the hotel. So here's what happened with the car. The long story short is there was a couple I had seen in there who were like, kind of like me just floating around and trying everything. And I'd already bumped into them once. So I will say, I don't think it was any bad intentions or anything like that. It was like a harmless mix up. Although part of me is just like, you know, <laughs> you can look at whatever the, um, the whatchamacallit, the license plate number, you know? And so I think, I mean, they're probably just as tired as I was. So the first like model of car that matched it, that they saw come up, they're like, oh, it must be ours and just hopped in, right? Thankfully, I called my driver and he was kind enough to turn around. But when they got out, like tails tucked between their legs, talking about some, oh, sorry, we stole your car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, y'all have a good night. Anyways, we are soon to be home. And we're back. So I will say this dress was a little risque. Let me take my mask off because you know this mask is trash actually let me just go ahead and toss it yeah i'd say overall very successful outing as you can tell again i'm feeling myself right now it's the skin the skin is glowing for me um tomorrow we'll see what the plan of attack is but i know i said i was going to sign off earlier i obviously that that was not the truth not that i didn't tell the truth as much as I just failed at sticking to that truth at the time. Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, thank you for coming out with me. One more show of the outfit and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.